With all the Bluetooth speakers out there, how does one differentiate? The X Mini series and this Explorer version here tries by promising something a little bit different. Right on the box, it promises sound beyond size. It's a movement. It's a lifestyle. It's a revolution. Rather high claims for something that would listen to in the shower. But let's unbox it and test if it meets its claims. X Mini has obviously paid a lot of attention to the packaging of the Explorer. The colorful wrapper and that pull up box makes you think you're unboxing something a little more premium than a typical speaker. Opening the box, we get a cute tiny speaker tightly nested in foam packaging, a short micro USB cable, and some literature. And oh my word, is it tiny! It's not even half the size of my drinking cup. The speaker itself comes in three different colors red, blue, or the black version that I have here. The device teacup like shape is covered with a distinct diamond texture and rubber coating, reminding us of the IPX4 ingress protection rating that it carries. IPX4 only makes it splash proof, not water resistant, so keep it beside the pool and not in it. And no dust protection here either. Even still, it indeed looks quite rugged, and the handle on the side adds to the look while remaining very functional. And while I'm usually not a liker of big logo on devices, the font here isn't too obnoxious and doesn't annoy me too much as such. Buttons wise, it's pretty much limited to the three side buttons. One for power, play, and pause, and extra functions, and the other to go forward a track, and the other to go back a track. The lack of dedicated volume controls is annoying however, as changing it requires long pressing the playback keys, which is a slow and imprecise procedure. No complaints about the multifunctional button though, the ability to not only play and pause, but also to quickly read down the last chord contact with a double click is nifty. Speaking of calling, there's also a mic to the side as well, and a flap covered micro USB port for charging. Unfortunately, there's no aux in port, so you're pretty much limited to Bluetooth 4.0 for playback sources. And how does it sound? Loud. True to the fighting words that it claims, the speaker packs a huge punch that you would not expect from a small teacup. The 3 watt speaker that is inside provides really, really loud sounds. High volume doesn't equal high level of distortion either. It's not distortion free, but it's pretty limited. As expected, the sound stage isn't great, and so is the bass as the device focuses more on vocals than anything. It does sound decently deep and a tiny bit colder, but nothing too fantastic. But still, the sound that you get from it is very impressive considering the size of it. Battery life has also been pretty good. X Mini rates it at 6 hours and it's about there. Charging is a bit slow though at 2 hours from 0 to full. So plug it into a power bank if you need to go for long listening sessions. Overall, I'm impressed with the X Mini Explorer. Have I heard better? Yes. But those come in way bigger packages and are not as portable nor are they splash proof. The size of this is easy to slip into a pocket, be it jeans or bags, which can't be said of its bigger brothers. I do wish it had dedicated volume keys, but I guess I'll make do with pressing and holding the navigation keys. Aptex HD codec support would have been nice as well, but that's not too big of a deal and the soundstage issue seems more like a limitation of the hardware size than an audio codec issue. You can find the X Mini Explorer for around 40 Singapore dollars MSRP, which is a bit expensive, but you can usually find it on discount for cheaper. And because the X Mini Explorer delivers on its marketing claims of huge sounds in a small package, and it impressed me myself, it easily earns my recommendation. So thank you guys for watching this short little review, I hope you enjoyed it. I like making little videos here and there, reviewing stuff, talking about how to's, which I haven't done in a while. I should probably go back to doing that. So if you enjoy such stuff like that, subscribe to this channel right here. Thank you again, and have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!